so how do you do guys welcome to today's edition of programming users tv in this class i'm going to guide you guys how to create our first cordova app okay our first cordova with framework 7 application we're going to start it from scratch create it and run it in our emulator now first go ahead prepare a folder okay we are actually we're going to have our projects fr7 this is where i'm going to create our project my project okay so let's say that I want to create my project so in this this one this of course is my terminal now you guys can use command prompt or you can actually go ahead and install git i'd recommend you use git as you can see it's much cleaner than command prompt is what i'm going to be using so first and foremost we actually need to install the of course framework 7 we've covered how to install it and now we're going to see how to install the cordova so cordova as you know um allow us to build mobile native mobile applications using html and css but then as you can see we've written a long post in our website so you guys are going to find more details so we're going to install cordova uh, using the cordova cli now as you can see we've provided the instructions right here for installation all you have to do is go ahead copy paste it as you can see right here npm install cordova so you go go to our website and then take that particular command npm and then just navigate over to the folder that you want okay to actually the place where you want to install it so like what i can just do come and say git bash here and as you can see it brings me to this particular place you can see so all i have to do is just npm install then g now g means globally is going to install it globally so that you are going to be able to use it for multiple projects now you do this one and then click enter by there you actually need node.js okay you need node now if you don't have node go ahead and download it and install it okay you actually need to have node installed in your machine is node is it's not big around 10 mb yet it's very very important so go ahead install node.js if you have don't have it there is actually a wizard for installation it's very easy it's good so it's going to install for us the npm npm stands for the node package manager now npm install dash g then cordova and then click enter this is going to install for us the cordova so do this one if you're on windows now if you're on linux then use this one okay proceed your command with the sudo uh, so as to allow you to work in a install it in a more restricted environment now once you've done that one then the next thing is to create our application okay so installation is going to require of course this is going to require internet connectivity now okay and it's not taking a lot of space it's actually very it's going to complete fast then once the installation is complete now we actually want to create our cordova application so this cordova to create cordova application you're going to use this particular cordova command then create then you type the application name so for example say that i want to create an application called teacher i'll come right here give it teacher now this is the folder and then i'll come right here for example com dot composure or info my domain dot composure then dot teacher okay then i come right here now we supply the name of the project when we install it remember we're going to install it in our device so this is what will be displayed when we install it okay this is what the user will see teacher now this is what i need to do and then i just click enter now if i click do that one is actually going to create for us our application is going to start by creating the folder okay so it's going to it's not going to take a long it's going to create for us the application all right in less than 30 seconds it's actually been created so it doesn't need internet connectivity remember we've already installed cordova so it doesn't need any internet connectivity so yeah our application has been created you can see we have the teacher folder okay so this first one teacher this is the folder name and then info.composure.teacher is the url 
like the package or the namespace if you prefer it then teacher this is the name that will be installed will be um, used when we run our project okay now if we come you can navigate over right here you can see it has added for us some files we have the hooks platforms plugins and then the ww so what you're interested okay we'll come to those zones later on for now let's go to our next step we've already created our cordova application you can see okay so the next thing is to for us to actually write our framework 7 code okay so you can see I have some code right here which I'm going to reuse. You can see I've posted them in my website, in our website, campusha.info. So all I'm going to do right here, I'm going to just copy paste them. You also go ahead copy paste them so that we can use them. Okay, we just want to focus on installation. So I come right here, copy paste this particular code and then bring it no instead of in fact copy pasting it i'm just going to copy paste the folders so i'll come to my greater right here and then i have these files i'm going to copy paste these ones these are what i'm going to use so i come and then i bring them now by the our framework 7 uh, code we're going to write them inside this ww directory okay so i'm going to delete everything there and then bring them right here okay so you can see now if i come and then edit it right here let me just edit it so if i go ahead edit it you can see this is the code that we have by the way i'm going to post this particular code we posted it in their website in our website so you guys can view them then of course we have the framework 7.min.js file right here okay so this is actually the framework 7 file we need to add it right here as you can see we're going to reference it in fact if we come to our code you can see from the js folder right here where is it the js folder we are referencing the framework 7 which is actually the library we're using okay then main.js is my javascript code my custom javascript code that i've written so you can see basically when the button is clicked you're just showing dialogues so those are the javascript code then under the css folder we just come right here we're going to add two framework 7 files material.colors.min and material.min material framework 7 material .min. we're going to use the material theme okay so if we come right here to our ways our index right here you can see that we have material.min.css and material.colors.min.css so those are framework 7 if you have no idea what you are talking about then you don't to look at our introductory tutorial okay now we've written our code so so far we actually have our code right here in the ww directory okay so if we come to our documentation as you can see the next step is for us to add the platform so add platform now to add platform first you have to cd into the project to cd into the project basically means to move into the project so for example in this case i'll come right here and i'll cd into the teacher okay which is my project so it's bring me to the teacher now once i've done that one then come copy paste this command cordova platform add android okay you go ahead type it so we just come right here cordova platform add then android we're targeting android platform by there so this is why now if you want to target ios you have the ios sdk installed then ha this one specify the ios for us we're targeting the android okay now we do that one then you just click okay so you need the android sdk to be installed the easiest way to have your android being installed for you is to install the android studio go to developers.android.com install android studio is going to install sdk and everything but you're going to require some internet for that one okay so do that one and then come add this cordova platform add android 
and now by the of course if we come to right here to our platforms folder you can see it's empty in a very short while you're going to see that it's going to add some folder right here under the platforms uh, directory okay so it's added it okay in maybe 30 seconds or so as you can see right here is actually added it and you can see we have the android folder now if we come right here you can see we have some if you've actually developed android apps before you are actually going to be very familiar you can see uh this this is actually a very familiar uh project structure right here and in fact we have the main activity okay which as you know android apps normally comprise of activities which are actually uh, the fundamental components in android now if you actually want to develop native applications we have tutorials for that one extensive tutorials so you can also check them out so yeah we've actually added the pl android platform right here okay now the next thing for us to do is to build our app okay so building the app is very easy all we have to do is use this command cordova build android so we come right here and type it cordova build android this is going to build for us the app then you click okay you enter okay now by then yeah you actually need android sdk installed for this build to be successful okay is not using any internet connectivity is just going to use the sdk but probably the very first time that you build it may actually require to download a few files okay which are uh, uh, not that large okay the very first time that you run the build but subsequently is going to be just using the sdk to build now building basically means converting this our cordova framework 7 application into an apk that you are then going to install in our android application so the build right here okay so you can see the build has actually taken one minute and 25 seconds sometimes it may be uh, it may actually take less time than this one sometimes more it actually depends on the, the your machine speed and also the applications that you are running but most of the time is normally going to be between 30 seconds to like four minutes depending on the speed of your machine so clearly you can see it's actually pointing us to some directory where it's actually telling us that we have an apk okay so the next thing of course is to go to that directory and then install get that apk let's come right here so it's told us that the apk if we come right here you can see we have under the platforms so we come right here platforms android then under the app folder then under the build then under the outputs apk then the debug now this right is our apk we're now going to install it so for me i'm just going to click run and then this is going to open for me the emulator that i'm using okay so i'm actually using an emulator called um the nox player okay nox player is actually a very fast emulator right here this is what i'm going to use now i'd recommend you use these third party library emulators as opposed to normally the emulator that comes with the android studio because these third parties ones are actually faster okay so you can use the nox player you can use the blue stacks the genie motion but i'd recommend the nox player right here it's actually very fast for me so yeah okay in around one minute we're going to have our emulator ready so by the we normally develop uh create tutorials for android applications so you guys can also check our other android apps okay we have our other android tutorials for native applications both xamarin as well as java and also kotlin so who is going to install for us the our application right here our cordova app and you can see we have right here the teacher which is our cordova application okay so very fast you can see this is our app okay we have it on the device you can even install it on the device now if i click the cn button right here you can see it's showing us the dialogue okay 
so as you guys can see right here we have our very wonderful uh, application in fact this type of application this one we can even run it in the browser let's come you're going to see that they're actually very similar to what we're going to see in the browser so if i come to the ww and then i click this one is actually going to open it for me in the browser and you'll see they're actually very very similar right here so you can clearly see we can even change this one to the landscape mode okay so we have our two buttons our application our that we have its apk okay cordova right here so yeah our browser is also going to open for us right here so that we're able to see our application okay and you can see we have it right in the browser okay so this one if we run it in the browser you can see they're actually quite similar so i can come here and change this one to portrait so you can see the two applications are actually very similar right here what we have in the emulator and what we have in the browser so with this one we actually use the material theme you can also use the ios theme okay so this is it guys i've actually taken you guys through a detailed tutorial of how to create a framework 7 application how to build it and write our first and install it on the device using the cordova so if you want more reference of course go ahead to our website we're going to post this tutorial so you guys can find it out right there with more explanations as for now make sure you guys like this video and if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe because we're going to have a marathon of framework 7 tutorials okay which we're going to do just the way we have java tutorials so you don't really want to miss these ones out you don't want to miss them out okay so go ahead subscribe like the video share it and take care i'll catch you in the next class